Hey, what is up guys? It is your boy Kingdom Soldier and I'm back again with another commentary and today we are going to do some Q&A. In the last video I asked you guys to ask me questions. First and foremost, you guys are amazing. You are awesome. Uh, I appreciate you guys liking the content, commenting, uh, watching the videos, everything great, awesome, thank you. But I'm going to answer your questions. Now, these questions are not limited to Call of Duty. They are all over the place. And you guys ask a lot of questions and a lot of good questions. And so I'm going to answer as many as I can in five minutes. Once that's up, I'm going to stop and then I'll make another video and release it at another date. Uh, tomorrow, I'm probably going to try to release the Kingdom Story episode 11. So be on the lookout for that. Nevertheless, let's get into these questions. The first question comes from... Kane Bolton and Kane asks who is your favorite ever COD professional gamer can be past or present I'm just gonna go with what immediately comes to mind and I'm gonna say Merc uh, I really I got to meet Merc in person in California uh, he came on the sticks uh, probably three or four times uh, and I've gotten to just talk to him and get to know him uh, and I watched his streams a lot back in the day to see his career grow. He's always kind of prioritized school and his relationship and just watching him grow and the man, it, it seems like Merck's always been older than all of us. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but it seems like he's always been a little bit older than everybody. Um, you know, right behind him would be Rambo. I just really love who that guy is and what he represents. And he's always, again, seemed to just be a little bit older. Now, to those of you that played with him, you probably think different, but uh, I just really respect Merck, his grind, and how he never, ever gave up on himself. People gave up on Merc, but Merc never gave up on Merc. And I love his content that he's doing right now with Nate Shot, uh, The Road to 100 and O. I probably watch probably one out of every five or six of those videos that he uploads. Sometimes I end up binge watching a good number of them, but uh, you know, just great guy all around, really like who he is, and so I'd have to say Merc. Thank you for the question. Uh, the next question comes from Aquafina Jones. And this question actually was asked a number of times. Um, what happened to the sticks? Well, it, I'm just gonna be honest, because this is a Q&A. The sticks, what we learned about it is that the sticks really was Kingdom. And when Kingdom left the sticks, all people wanted every single week. I mean, the guys got tired of the comments saying, where's Kingdom, where's Kingdom, where's Kingdom? When is Kingdom coming on the show? And then I would tweet that you should go watch the show and people would be mad when they got to the show and I wasn't on it. And what we realized is that the brand of the sticks really revolved and was centered around me, my personality and who I am, my ability to analyze or BS my way out of <laughs> analyzing. And uh, without that, the show just wasn't the same and we lost a lot of our fan base and we did so much you guys never even saw the sticks website like I, I wish you could you know we did a lot we came out with podcasts and um, we came out with uh, we came up with the we moved to MLG we came up with our own uh, sticks channel and our own sticks YouTube and everything fell everything fell apart because we did that at a time when I was also transitioning off of the show. Now, stay tuned is all I'm going to say. Next question. Thank you for the question, Aquafina. Uh, the Beast 2911 talk about any possible roster changes. I love that bleep. I don't even know. Like, I looked at the eight teams. Wow, I said eight. I looked at the eight teams that are going to this land this weekend. Uh, in Anaheim, and I only knew one roster, which was FaZe. <laughs> I didn't, I, I don't know the LG roster by heart. I, I, I don't know any of those rosters. Um, and so I have a lot to learn from who's actually on teams right now. You guys got to remember that I actually stopped almost two years ago the grind of actually paying attention to competitive Call of Duty. I've never stopped watching videos and content, but I stopped actually paying attention to roster changes and who's where and who does what and what their roles are on the team. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm clueless in regards to all of that. So I can't really talk about roster changes. All I'll say is that roster changes are going to happen because of the way that Infinity Ward is played and this whole weapon draft, even watching Optic play and watching Damon and Scump 
kind of argue about who's going to use what weapon. It was joking banter, but it was serious if you think about it. Who's going to use which weapon? Watching that made me know that there's going to be roster changes. Not necessarily on Optic, but because they're, they're such good slayers, they'll figure it out. But players like Skump, and this is something Fox was telling me, or Landon, I don't remember which one, but players like Skump that are used to having kind of that roaming slayer role, that role doesn't really exist because he has to use a submachine gun all the time, and it limits what a player can do. And so roster changes are gonna be are gonna happen so that real good teams can be built on IW. Uh, let me see if I can get another quick one before I leave. What happened to the sticks? Love the show. Good luck with your finals. What are your thoughts on IW so far? I'll answer this question before I end, even though I'm at like six minutes. Um, what are your thoughts on IW so far, even though you haven't played it? Pretty much the COD community hates it, and everyone is saying COD is dead. Do you agree? And this is from Lunatic with Rip Fizzerp as his Abby. Uh, Rip Fizzerp, rest in peace to the homie Fizz. Um, what are my thoughts on IW? I like watching some people play it, and I really don't like watching other people play it. It really depends on the role that they have. I like watching, like, I think I've said this before, I like watching Spratty, uh, Faze Sprat. I love his sniper videos on IW. I, I, I watch them all the time and I enjoy it. Um, I like watching some of Skump's videos, but I've always liked watching Skump play pubs. That's always been a thing for me. Um, I will say, unequivocally, I like watching Modern Warfare Remastered more, but I know that's not the game we're playing. Um, IW is growing on me a little bit. I'm getting to understand callouts and placement, and but some of the stuff I'm seeing, like this two-piece that Attach got to end uh, a S&D he was playing, where he rolled up on the guys on a wall. He was running, and if he if he couldn't rewind, he would have died, and they would have won. So they played, they, they did the right play, but both of them are running on the wall separately. He rewinds back to the ledge and then shoots both of them and kills both of them and gets a 1v2 clutch to end this round of S&D. And to me, that is mind boggling that COD has gotten to that place where you can go run on a wall and make the mistake of pushing something that you shouldn't have pushed and you can literally rewind time so that you can correct your mistake. There's no penalty or punishment for you, but the two people that pushed you together as a team so that they could trade the kill died because they're still on the wall when you rewind and you know they're coming around the corner and you pre-aim it and you kill them. That is freaking frustrating. That's all I gotta say. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but there's some stuff on IW that just drives me crazy and it, it shouldn't be allowed, in, in my opinion. But I know... Infinity War is going to do what they're going to do. Let's see this weekend what the rule set and everything that happens for this land and how it plays out. That'll kind of be a good test going into Vegas. Anyway, uh, I've gone way over my time. I'm at eight minutes. See, this is you guys' questions. I, I you just I gotta do. They're not short enough for me to answer shortly, if that makes any sense. Anyway, this is your boy Kingdom Soldier, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.